Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get the Ubuntu Unity desktop working on 1804. So as you can see, I'm running the GNOME shell setup. Uh, I've never been a fan of the way that Canonical sets it up. I really don't understand why they decided to get rid of Unity. I'm not a huge fan of Ubuntu and I don't use it, but I always thought Unity was better than whatever this amateur thing is here. And hey, if you like GNOME, that's great. Um, nothing against it. I just, you know, me and a lot of other people want to use Unity. So how do you do that? Well, it turns out you can do this on the LTS and you start out by opening up a terminal and you do sudo apt install Unity sudo apt install unity desktop environment sorry ubuntu unity desktop it's hard to remember the packages sometimes anyways once you start the installation for this you're going to notice that there is a ton of stuff and now this is pulling down all of the packages that are required to use on the 1804 desktop so it's got to install everything and it's going to go through and quickly grab them Now, it might take a little bit of time, and this is just because I've got a lot of stuff to install, a lot of stuff to go through, and uh, while it's doing this, you're going to see an end curses menu, and it's going to ask you to configure LightDM. Now, if you're using Unity or you plan on using Unity, you need to highlight LightDM and click the enter key on your keyboard. You don't have to do that, but I highly recommend you doing it especially if you're going with Unity, there's not really any reason not to. So you go through that, it's gonna impact and install a lot of these other things, which will take a bit of time, like I said, but uh, soon it'll be done. So when this finishes installing and Unity is all set up, you're gonna be tempted to just log out and log back in. You don't need to do that. And it's actually kind of bad to do it that way. Instead, you need to reboot your entire PC because you're going to have to reload the DM because you're no longer using GDM3, you're going to be using LightDM. So our installation is complete. Now I can go up here and I can click Reboot. And I'm going to wait for Unity to pop back up. When Ubuntu opens, I'll see the LightDM and Unity setup. Which will take a couple seconds. And there we go. Because of the power of SSDs, it's super fast, and we see that Unity is now the default. And uh, I can enter my password. And uh, as you can see in the corner here, I'm using 1804 LTS, so it's not a fake. I'm not lying or anything. This is real, and this is really happening. So if you miss Unity and you just upgraded to the new LTS, you can just keep on using the Unity desktop. You don't have to move on. You don't have to use the uh, the new sort of unity with the menu in a really bad place desktop that they have going on and uh that's it and if you want to uninstall it or learn how to get rid of it uh please check the description we go over this in detail and we've got all of those other commands you can check out but anyways guys until then this has been derek and i will see you in the next video <laughs>